Welcome back to another video of mine and today I want to talk about Neo Stock. but before we go into that I just want to shout out the free comments that commented on my previous YouTube videos. Thank you so much for the kind words and support and yeah but let's get into this video then. So a couple of weeks back I bought into Neo Stock, and it was trending downwards and I thought it was a good buying opportunity at $42 a share. There's probably a few reasons why this actually happened is because they had to raise some capital. So they ended up selling 68 million shares and that could have dragged the price down quite a bit. Um, but also there probably are a few more factors in the sense of it is kind of overvalued people say. And yes, it probably is at this moment in time, but in the future it's gonna be um, definitely worth $42 a share. They did this because they didn't want to let Xpeng and Li Auto catch up with them. So they used the money probably to reinvest and all sorts. So they had to do it, they needed to do it. And it just became a good buying opportunity. In the recent weeks, it's been trending back upwards and people are starting to get hyped up about Neo again. And there's a few good positive news outlets and things that are happening at this moment in time. So let's get into that. So Neo Day is coming around the corner and it will be 9th of January and we are gonna be seeing a new sedan from Neo and it will be their fourth mass production and it will be wanting to compete with Tesla's Model 3, which who knows how it will do, but it does look pretty good and that's what we'll be looking into and seeing more on 9th of January. So look out for that coming up in the news as the stock might be trending upwards in the next week or so. I've, I've heard that they're wanting to go into Robo Taxis Neo and they're working closely with Intel at the moment and that will be a very interesting thing in the next coming months if not years. Neo will be also releasing their 150 kilowatt hour battery pack which will cover 560 miles which is a, a lot of distance if I'm honest and most gas powered cars actually go don't even get to them get to that mileage coverage I think it's like 500 miles not even that like 400 miles um, and that's what a lot of people have been put off with uh, electric cars is the fact that oh, I'm going to get an electric car but I'm not going to be able, I'm going to have to keep charging it all the time when I'm on the road but that's not going to be the case with the Neo battery pack it's going to last for 560, 560 miles, which is pretty impressive. That thing alone could actually boost prices up. And we all know it's probably going to do well in China. It's the Chinese Tesla, as people say. And I think that's just will appeal to the European market and, and things like that. So I do think that's a massive, massive thing. So let's look at the analyst ratings and the price upgrades as Neo recently has had a upgrade by Goldman Sachs, which is brilliant. Um, they're thinking it's gonna be a $59 a share stock, and we're currently trading at $48, so that is pretty impressive. And you've got to remember though, like these price upgrades are for the next 12 months. You shouldn't always go off them because sometimes I do think they just do it to manipulate the stock price, which obviously they do. A lot of people follow when there's a price upgrade or a downgrade. They always go off what these top guys are saying, which obviously you should, but sometimes you should always go with your own instincts because, yeah, they're just always manipulating the price. Either way, when these happen, the price goes up or down, depending on what's happening. So having it at a $59 um, stock price, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of growth this week with Neo stock with all these fundamentals that are happening. Another one I do want to say, and it hasn't been updated on this um, price, is Bank of America isn't now, it's not $54 a share, it's that they've actually put it up to $59 a share, and I've got it over here actually that I can show you. Bank of America, they've raised the price target from $54.70 to $59, so that's a big positive news as well. So there's two people saying it's gonna be $59, so, I do think we're gonna see a massive price upgrade in the next week or so. But don't go off my advice, because I'm not a financial advisor or anything, but they're just things you should look into and see. All right, lastly, before we finish off this video, let's have a look 
at what it is trading at, at the moment, which I have mentioned, and let's see if there's any way we can see what could happen in the week. I'm not a technical analysis. I can't I can't really do the technical bit, but I can understand some parts. Yeah, I think this next week could be a week where we see we're gonna be breaking the $50 um, a share and we're definitely gonna be testing these highs up here. Even this week coming or the next week, we could be seeing it breaking the highs of it previously at $58 and there's a lot of good news for it to get to there. So um, I think this could be a good opportunity here. Um, it's finding support here. It's finding support here and it's not breaking down. So that is very good news too. And um, but on the RSI and the MACD, it's going into the overbought section, it looks like, but it still hasn't got to the over overbought bit. And that's where it probably will get to. But that's just me just looking into it a little bit. If you if you know more technical analysis, a lot more than me, please leave in the comments below because I'd love to know where you think it's going to be in the, this week. Um, and I really want to get better at this because I find it really interesting. With my channel, I just want to build a community and just really document my um, journey in the stock market and in investing. So at this moment in time, I think $48 for NEO is still a good buying opportunity. I might buy some more. I think I probably would buy some more, definitely if it dips down any more, but even buying at this point, I think $48 is a good price target, especially if you're holding it for the next year or so, or even longer, so that's that. But if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and comment below if you've got anything, um, any news about NEO or anything, or another video you want me to do, leave in the comments, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.